Volkswagen Beetle, or officially the Volkswagen Type 1, is one of the most famous and most iconic cars that was manufactured and marketed by German automaker Volkswagen from 1938 until 2003. However, it is little known who were the actual designers of the much-loved car. The need for a people's car its concept and its functional objectives were formulated by the German leader who wanted a cheap, simple car to be mass-produced for his country's road network. The original concept behind the first Volkswagen, the company and its name is the notion of a people's car, a car affordable and practical enough for common people to own. In the early 1930s, the German auto industry was still mostly limited to luxury models and few Germans could afford anything more than a motorcycle. One German out of 50 owned a car. In April of 1934, Hitler gave the order to Ferdinand Porsche to develop a Volkswagen, a people's car. In May of 1934, at a meeting in Berlin, the German dictator insisted on a basic vehicle that could transport two adults and three children at 100 km per hour while not using more than 7 liters of fuel per 100 km. The engine had to be powerful enough for sustained cruising on Germany's Autobahnen. Everything had to be designed to ensure parts could be quickly and inexpensively changed. The people's car would be available to citizens of Germany through a saving scheme at 990 Reismark, about the price of an average small motorcycle. In May of 1938, Hitler laid the cornerstone for the Volkswagen factory in Fallersleben. Volkswagen had only just started small-scale production, building about 200 Beetles, when civilian production was halted at the start of the war. Except for two military prototype units, these cars were allocated to military officers as personal cars. Hitler was given the very first convertible Beetle built in 1938. The first volume produced versions of the car's running gear and chassis were military vehicles. The Type 82 Kübelwagen, approximately 52,000 built, and the amphibious Type 166 Schwimmwagen, about 14,000 built. During World War II, the factory primarily built the Kübelwagen and the Schwimmwagen and a handful of other light-wheeled vehicles, all mechanically derived from the Type 1 for the German army. These included several hundred Commanderswagen Type 87 with a Type 1 Beetle body mounted on the rugged chassis of the four-wheel drive Kübelwagen prototype. Commanderswagen were produced up to 1944 when all production was halted because of the heavy damage to the factory from Allied air raids. Much of the essential equipment had already been moved to underground bunkers for protection, which let production resume quickly after hostilities ended. In occupied Germany, the Allies followed the Morgenthau plan to remove all German war potential. As part of this, in the industrial plans for Germany, the rules for which industry Germany was to be allowed to retain were set out. German car production was set at a maximum of 10% of the 1936 car production numbers. Mass production of civilian Volkswagen cars did not start until post-war occupation. The Volkswagen factory was handed over by the Americans to British control in 1945. 
the reopening of the factory is largely accredited to British Army officer Major Ivan Hurst. Hurst was ordered to take control of the heavily bombed factory which the Americans had captured. Knowing Germany needed jobs and the British Army needed vehicles, Hurst persuaded the British military to order 20,000 cars and, by March of 1946, the factory was producing 1,000 cars a month, which Hurst said was the limit set by the availability of materials. During this period, the car reverted to its original name of Volkswagen and the town was renamed Wolfsburg. With 21,500,000 produced, the Beetle is the longest running and the most manufactured car of a single platform ever made. <laughs>